Well, remember how I said I wasn't going to mess up? Well, I did. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my vlog. Today is Monday, February 6th. I know, I know. Okay, well, I'll give you one in just one moment, okay? Tell everybody good morning. Oh, Fluffy's gonna tell everybody good morning. Anyway, good morning, and I'm starting off the week, and I've decided, well, we're gonna talk about a few things. Or two, I, okay, just wait one second. Um, okay, let me give her, let me give her, her treat. Maybelle, good grief. Treat? Nope. Okay. Anywho, as I was saying, that um, I am starting off the new week. It's, it is the 6th. It's Monday. Went on vacation. Had Took a little bit of a week off from filming the vlogs. Now, I have a second channel, The Misty Show, and it's basically non-reselling content. So, my vlogs that I do pretty much encompass all of my reselling business. So, my personal or my, my weekly vlogs will be on this channel, Thrift Junk or Vintage Hunter, and then the non-reselling vlogs and things that I do of that nature will go over on the Misty Show, at least at this point. That could all change. You know I tend to change things every other day, but that, and that also could, could change. I'm gonna let Maybell out, but I am getting ready to go over to the shop. I have to do my reel and uh, get things ready for tomorrow's sale, tomorrow being Tuesday. Um, I have my weekly sale with Michael, So I ha and I have my whatnot sale. I have my whatnot sale all ready to go. I gotta work on my, my Tuesday sale a little bit. I have everything pulled, but I don't have it ready. What would you like to say, sir? Mr. Fluffer Pants, do you want your treats too? Okay. Okay, here. This first one, you know, it always takes him a few minutes, but then he, after he gets the, the taste of it. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, you dropped it. These are like chewy ones. Ouch. One more. Okay. Well, Mr. Fluffer is happy. And trust me when I say that the, both of my pets, you know, I know I did Vlogmas and I had a lot of people say, oh, you're poor. And no, they are so spoiled. They get so many treats. So they're good. Trust me. They are good. All right. I am getting ready to go to the shop now and get things ready for Tuesday. So let's go. I get a lot of people asking me about Mama Kitty too. Dear her is. Her seep and in her big fluffy pillow. Our garage is heated. We do have it keep it heated for her. Again, she refuses to come inside. I have tried. Ouch! She's like, um, you don't have a treat in your hand, lady. <coughs> Mama Kitty, you want treats? Okay, I'll get you some. See? Mama Kitty gets treats. She gets treats just as much as the fluffer pants and Maybell, but she just will not stay inside. I've tried. I try probably once a week, and she is like, nope. No, I just, you got it right there. There you go. But she's, she's happy and healthy. So I have to admit, I am feeling a little bit rusty. I got so used to doing Vlogmas and then doing the daily vlogs and then taking, a, I got bowls back there. Taking a week off, um, it, it made me a little rusty. So I'm gonna do my best to uh, get back into the swing of things. Um, and, I, you know, I started that second channel because I wanted to be able to, to put some travel vlogs up there and kind of things that did not have to do with reselling. So, I don't know how often I'm going to post over there. It's obviously, it's going to be at least once a week. Um, and I did just post a video up there Sunday night, which was... Um, exploring Old Town San Diego and Del Coronado. So if you're not subscribed to The Misty Show, then go over and, and subscribe. The link is in the description and it's also on my YouTube cover page thing. So, um, 
and I debated on putting the vlogs over there as well but the vlogs the weekly vlogs really kind of encompass me as a reseller and the things that I do in reselling. I might pop into Marshalls or Dollar Tree or Walmart for just a few seconds, but the majority of those kinds of, of vlogs and shopping trips will be over on the second channel. I know it's kind of confusing, but we're going to see how it goes. And in it, inevitably, I may just move everything to this channel. I don't know. We're just going to see. We're just going to see how it goes. So. Today is basically getting everything fine-tuned, the T's crossed and the I's dotted for Tuesday sales. Now, normally I have it all done by now, but Emma came home over the weekend, so I spent the, t spent the weekend with her and Colin, and that was really, really nice. So, I'm a little behind, but that's okay. I got all day to work on it. I did also um, get some stuff last week um, at... Uh, Riverside. I didn't film when I w went in there just because I just wanted to go in and shop and I can do that sometimes. I don't have to film it, but I did get some really fun stuff over there. Let me know in the comments. Do you, would you like for me to do just a haul every once in a while? Here's the thing. The hauls don't perform as well as a shop with me videos. They just don't. People want to see you shopping and then they can see what you bought, but they but it, it, the popular videos, as far as YouTube goes, are when you are shopping. Those are the ones. Or especially when you're shopping at Goodwill, which I don't do very often because it, they're, it's just not worth it. So, anyway, okay, I've rambled long enough and um, I'm going to get to the shop, make my coffee, and get started with this Tuesday. It's 7.58 way late Misty you're way late for work you're a slacker but I was tired so I slept in I already stuck the pod in there but I'm still loving this Crave coffee um, I have caramel in right now and it's heating up I need some caffeine it's going to be a long day does anybody else think that the Keurig like screams at you when it has to make your coffee? I don't know. I always think that it's like, like it's just, like we're putting it out by making it make our coffee. I don't know. Is that just me? <laughs> Does anybody else think that the Keurig is like a person and they're giving them attitude? Is that just me? Oh no! <gasps> Oh, no! That's what this day is going to be like, I think. Well, that was just plum ridiculous. But, cheers. I did just get this mug. I ordered it from, gosh, I'll put it below. It's either an Etsy store or off of an eBay. But it's Holt Howard inspired. And she's hot stuff. And she's a little sassy. So, I'll put the link to where I got this mug below. But, I got my whipped cream in it, making it as Starbucks official as possible. I'm going to drink it. I'm going to answer some emails that I'm way behind on. And then we're going to um, get the stuff ready for Tuesday sale. I will show you real quick, even though I'm showing you this now and the stuff will all be gone because I've already had the sale. But I'm going to try something this week, and that is everything that I'm selling on Tuesday, I'm going to, like, stage in this cabinet. So instead of having to do individual reel, I can just do a collective reel and a short on YouTube. I've got some good stuff that I'm selling this week, though. One thing, this, okay, this, I was like, ooh, that's beautiful. Let me zoom out. And then I got to looking at it, and it is a commemorative thing from 2015 Customer Experience Leadership Summit. Now, that was a great gift for someone to give someone. So, this is just going to go home with me, and I'm going to put it with my paperweights. But I was like, because it looks like a rose in there. But it was given to someone at their a leadership summit. Well, it's mine now. So that was a bummer. Oh, I wanted to show you this too. I got this beautiful card. Oh my gosh. It was from Colleen Cook. 
which is cookies for vintage, but she sent me this card. Look at that. It's got the spaceman and the globe. She said this card could only be sent to you. Enjoy. I'm sending the inside or I'm saving the inside of the card for you to use. I'm not going to use that. I'm taking that home, Colleen, and that is going to go in my display with my spaceman bottles and my globes. So thank you so much. I absolutely love this. I also wanted to show you real quick too. I got my latest Amy's Rock and Pop Shop. I'm his Rock and Pop Shop little creation. I attended one of her live sales that she does on whatnot where you basically you she create you tell her you, if you win the auction you t you pick the patterns and the head and she creates this your doll customized by your instructions live and so she hand painted and made this little devil face which is the cutest thing ever look at him it was little flesh colored ears so and then I picked the fabric which was jello because, I mean, why not? And then the little Rick Rack. And we gave him um, some champagne. He's, he's ready to party. But I, and then she signs them all. But I absolutely love, I love him so much. So check out Amy's Rock and Pop Shop on Instagram and on whatnot and attend her sales. They're so much fun. I stayed up till very late because I just couldn't look away. They were just so much fun. So thank you so much, Amy. I love him. Also, I think I'm going to do a pop-up with these Squishmallows on whatnot at some point this week. I think I'm going to I, I, because I don't have very, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, about twenty. Oh, the big cow is Emma's. She wants big cow. So that's not for sale. Surprisingly enough, this pug, I need to look up this little love bug here, but this pug was rare and it's worth about $70. I don't, okay. But um, we're going to maybe do this on whatnot and, um, and see how it goes because I need my couch back. The only one that I'm going to keep is this one. I just love that little Christmas Yeti. I liked him too, but I'm going to keep the Christmas one. Boy, I really need to clean up in here. <sighs> I, 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 this is just driving me nuts. All these boxes, some of these are boxes that I can definitely reuse. Some of them are way too big. I need to put them in a recycling pile. This is just a mess. I cannot stand this mess. So I had this pushed all the way over there to when I couldn't even use those shelves. And I use that shelf right there to put my shipping tape that I just got a shipment of. So I gotta open up all these tapes to put in this basket. That way, when my tape gun runs out, all I gotta do is reach over in this basket. There's my Jeff Jeff tape. I only got two rolls left. I can reach over in this basket and just grab me a new roll, but I couldn't even get to it. Cause it's just a mess. Oh, I gotta change some stuff up in here, and I don't know how to do it. I mean, I know how to do it. I just don't know what to do with it and how to make it more effective. But that's probably gonna be a problem for another day, cause I have other things I need to do. But I am gonna unload this tape. That is one thing that I am going to do, as far as that area over there goes. All right, I just got home from the shop, and I'm getting ready to make dinner. And tonight, via Home Chef. Because we've given, um, what was it called? We've given the other one. I can't remember what the name of it was. But we've given it a pause. And now we're trying Home Chef. And the jury's kind of still out. But this is creamy. Here, well, let me show you. Let me point it down here. This is creamy chipotle turkey burrito. And it's good old Rachel. No, wait, where'd you go? There you are, Rachel Ray. It's a Rachel Ray recipe. It says difficult level is easy. Spice level medium. 20 to 30 minute prep time. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, prepare, well, we have to start the rice. We're going to start the rice first. And then we have to prepare and all that other kind of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get this, um, everything set up for this so we can start, get started making the creamy chipotle 
Turkey brew. Oh, with fire roasted salsa. I don't really like rice in my burrito, so as typical, I'll probably have Amy's enchilada. Amy's cheese enchilada. I'll make this for Dad and Mark, though. Maybe I'll you one outside. Okay. Go. No, I'm not going to play ball with you. I have to make dinner. When Daddy gets home, he will play ball with you, okay? Go potty. Go potty. Go potty. Oh, okay. Where's your ball? We'll do it really quick. Because you, I feel like you're giving me the, okay, go get a ball. Go get one. Here. Oh, I guess it's a tiger. Okay, Maybell, you ready? Ready. Go get it. See, she doesn't, she just chases them and she doesn't even bring them back. You're not doing this the right way. Go get a ball. Okay, let's try one more. This is what she does. Get to put your foot on it to grab it. Now watch. She won't. Look at all those balls all over. Oh, she's going to bring that one back. Nope. No, she's not. Okay. Okay, we got one right here. We'll try this one. Nope. Look, there's all these balls littered throughout the yard, and she's not bringing any of them back. Go get a ball. Okay. Well, we're going to go inside and make dinner. What do you want? Huh? No. You you already had your dinner. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. The nice thing about Home Chef is that they, they come in these bags. Mark doesn't like this aspect. He likes... Um, what was that other one called? Home Fresh? No. Home Chef. Mark's getting ready to walk in the door. Mark. What was that other subscription thing that we did? What was it called? Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh. This is Home Chef. Mark doesn't like this. I like this better than the than the paper bags. But so everything that you need comes in these little um, bags. Am I too high up? I'm not high far. Enough. So we've got the tortillas, and we get them for a family of four. The way there's leftovers, Mark can take leftovers the next day. And we've got our rice and our cheese. Salsa, onion, beans. Look, it comes in like a little applesauce cup. Oh, be darn. We got beans. I'm gonna bend down. Garlic. Your sour cream. More beans. And then your spice. This is chipotle seasoning. So I like that it comes all kind of portioned out. That way, like, you don't have to buy a big thing of Chipotle seasoning and only use it for a couple times and then, you know, you throw it all away. So the first thing we have to do is start the rice and then um, we have to drain the black beans, peel in half the onion, and mince the garlic. And I have this little contraption that I got in one of my subscription boxes that I love that minces your garlic. You gotta put, I gotta find a little blade. Put the little, put the little blade on here and it minces your garlic for you. It's pretty fun. So, we're gonna put it together now.
garlic and the onion. We also have olive oil in there too. The rice is cooking. So basically we're just gonna crumble this turkey up with the onion and the garlic and cook it until it's done. I haven't even read. That's the thing. Sometimes you really, sometimes you really have to read all the steps first. So after that is add onion. And did you add a pinch of salt? Break up the meat. Add chipotle seasoning after it's cooked. Beans, half the salsa. Reserve the remaining for dipping. One tablespoon water. Remove from burner and stir in sour cream until thoroughly combined. And then we just kind of, we, we put it all together. And then you, it, you cook it back in the pan for a little bit. Pretty self-explanatory. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. I, I'm expecting it's going to look just like that. We'll put it on the plate when we're all done. And we'll see if it looks just like that. We'll do a little comparison. Well, here is the picture. There is a finished product. So not too bad. They're all toasted. This one's like a little bit more like salsa-y on the inside. But the thing of it is, we got four tortillas and we have that much meat left. So I think we're going to, Mark's going to save it and maybe make a taco salad out of it. But I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be good. Well, good morning. It is Tuesday, February. I can't remember if I said January in yesterday's vlog. I probably did. It's going to take me a while to figure out what month it is but it is february tuesday february 7th and it's live sale day i have two sales today i have my youtube sale at one o'clock and then i have like 20 minutes to get you know get a drink go to the bathroom all that kind of stuff and then i have a, a whatnot sale at five o'clock eastern both eastern times so I love Tuesdays. Tuesdays are fun for me. It's a long day, but it's a fun day and I love it. So I am going to Starbucks and I've decided that I'm getting a tall coffee. I usually just get a grande, which is the small size, but I'm going to get a bigger one today. I think Tuesdays call for a bigger cup of coffee. The pistachio latte with sweet cream foam. And since I'm getting large, I'm going to get two squirts or pumps probably pumps is a better word to use when i'm ordering it instead of squirts i i'll try to remember to say pumps <clears throat> i feel like i lose my voice two pumps of raspberry syrup it's very good it's very good i'm gonna be sad when they take the pistachio off the menu but then they'll replace it with something else that i'll like so I'm, I'm going to go to the, I have everything, well, I have most everything ready for my sales today. I think I might fine tune some of the things during my whatnot sale. Um, but, uh, I'm, I'm kind of, I don't know. I shouldn't say this out loud, but I'm kind of thinking that I might run over to Goodwill, but I don't know. So don't quote me on that. I might go over there on Thursday instead. But I told you that I'm going to, once a week in this vlog, I'm going to include going to Goodwill here locally, which will take me all of like 10 minutes because it's very small. Yeah, I will take a tall uh, pist iced pistachio latte, um, cold, oh, I already said iced, cold, with um, sweet cream foam and two uh, pumps of raspberry syrup. All right, what else for you? That's it. Misty? All right, Misty, we got a tall ice pistachio latte with two pumps of raspberry and vanilla sweet cream foam at 781. Thank you. Thank you. I remembered. I kind of fumbled up with saying the iced and cold island, but I did say pumps instead of squirts. So maybe that means I've got it together today. Well, Remember how I said I wasn't going to mess up? Well, I did. And if you watch this video and if you are a Starbucks goer, you will you will know that when I said tall, that wasn't correct. I had to take my phone off to pay for it. I wasn't correct. Tall is the small. So I got an itty bitty one. I wanted a big, big one. And I got itty bitty small. So, and, and it has two 
squirts, pumps of raspberry, which honestly, maybe even make it more delicious. But man, it's a little bitty baby size. She told me at the window, she said, you are more than welcome to say small, medium, and large. I'm like, well. That's good. Well, I probably will next time because I can never remember. I can never remember. Why do they gotta be, why do you gotta be fancy, Starbucks? Why can't you just be small, medium, and large? You know? Who's with me? Who is with me? Let me know in the comments. Are you wishing that that Starbucks would just be small, medium, and large? Because I have been to a Starbucks before when I said small, medium, and large, and they looked at me like I was dumb. Okay, but that's not going to, that is not going to mess up our Tuesday. No, gonna be a good Tuesday. It is, because I got to spend it with with you guys. Well, for those of you that come to my sales, I get to spend it with you and Michael. I love him. I get to see him really soon. <laughs> I'm so excited. Anyway, okay, I'm going to drive. I know it probably sounds like I've already had lots of caffeine, but no, that's just me. No, I woke up in a good mood today. I did. I'm like really, my camera angle is really bad, but Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go and drive to the shop, and it will take me five seconds to drink this coffee. I can make more. I can make more. We always have our Old Faithful Mountain Dew waiting on us in the refrigerator at the shop if we decide that we need, that we need more caffeine. But this pista iced pistachio latte with sweet cream foam and two pumps of raspberry is delightful. It is. Okay, I made it to the shop and I am, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm changing a few things in my whatnot catalog. Cause I'm doing this week, I'm doing mediums, buyer's choice. And I was gonna do pick three, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna replace the pick three with a few more auction items. So um, I got this little, little Shawnee elephant creamer and well, this. Oh, this um, Vaseline, it glows, let me show you, glows like the Dickens. Now, these, I get, you can get them on Amazon, that's where I got mine. It is the UV 365, it's a very powerful black light, um, and it will show things that, like this flower frog right here, it also, it also has some uranium in it. So, it, um will show you like this Fostoria. The coin vase also has, can you see that green? It has a little bit of uranium in it as well. It, it's kind of a selling point. People do like their glowy glass. And while it doesn't like glow like that glows, it still, it still is a little bit of a parlor trick. And you can see that green glass in there. There was something else that kind of, oh, this. This is, wow, this is beautiful. Isn't this lovely? This is one of the things I think I might put on as a um, auction item. This beautiful, I don't know who made it. I don't think it's Costa Boda. Uh, it's not marked. I just loved it. I love the color. But even it, it also glows green. So the thing of it is that it doesn't necessarily show up with just a normal black light. You need the 360 um, black light in order to do that. And that is something that I will say. Um, and in fact, I'm probably going to go ahead and grab my other black light for the sale. So I can show you that a normal, it doesn't show up. So with people who have, um, black light displays, a lot of times they will have, um, a more powerful black light. And so things that might have some cadmium in it or, um, uranium in it, um, then it won't show up unless you're using this 360 UV. All of these things right here in the buy it now section on whatnot. So if you are following me on whatnot, you can check out the buy it now section. Um, and it's, it's things that are listed. So you just go to my next scheduled sale and you can see all of these things that are listed in the buy it now. You can just 
you can buy it now. Um, it won't ship until my sale is over. I won't be doing the shipping until then, but you can go ahead and go in and buy something if you see something in the sale that you might be interested in. You can get these on eBay and it's fun. It's fun just to kind of walk around and see what you can find that glows. So, and they're small enough. Look, it even has a little clip. You can clip it on your shirt. I wouldn't do that, but you could. It's got a little clip right there or at least clip it to the inside of your purse. That's an idea too. Good morning. Happy Wednesday, February 8th. February 8th. I have a busy day today. I probably won't be on here much today, but I I ended up not going to Goodwill yesterday because I, I'm going on another trip and I booked my flights. And so I got kind of, I got kind of in that zone and I didn't end up going out. But I did manage to go to Starbucks and get an adult sized coffee today. I did do that. And, but I have a lot of shipping to do. I have to ship all of these, all of those, all of those today. And I should have been here much earlier, but I didn't because today I kind of just laid in bed and scrolled on my phone, which was a big dumb mistake because now I'm going to pay for it today. So um, I'm going to be shipping today and I'm also going to be going doing like a talk show on whatnot at at 10 this morning. So that cuts into my shipping time a little bit. Um, but I got to do that t this morning. And I also have those paper dolls. Let me just show them to you real quick. So these paper dolls, I got all of these in California. Let me zoom out. There we go. This is a Victorian paper doll set and she's got her clothes back here. I got a couple of those, but this is Friendly Fairies. This is by Johnny Gruel, and he was the author of the Raggedy Ann and Andy books. This is from, I think it was 1919. What, what day were you? I think it was 1919. And it, and, it, and it has the original dust jacket, which is great. See? But look, oh, it's got like little fairies in it. It's so, so good. This is Paper Doll, or The Paper Doll Family and Their House. Aunt Edra wrote on this. Bad aunt. But here is the house. We've got the living room. Very snazzily dressed. I like, or decored. Look at the little figurines and the vases. That's what I, even in like books like this, I'm always looking at all the little things the shapes of the potteries and all that that's on the um, on the shelves. Look at the closet. And then here is the baby's room. Oh, look at that little bunny. And then it, it also, it has, it's never been cut out. So all of the, uh, oh, here's a legend about paper dolls. Years ago, there were two little sisters who loved to play with paper dolls. In those days, you couldn't buy such beautiful dolls as you can today, so they made their own. Of course, like all other little girls, they wanted a house for the dolls to live in, so they made that too, out of a big notebook. They drew and pasted the furniture, marking rooms for all the members of the family and closets to which to keep their clothes. The front and back doors of the house really opened. So that's what kind of what they were trying to accomplish with this, but look... Look at you, fella. Ha, ha, ha. Hot tamale. You're very, you're nice. Look, the little boy has his uh, tall socks on too, but he doesn't have these lovely straps that the dad does. But here's the bathroom. There's some more things up here that you can use to cut out, but it's never been used. It's never been used. Look, that looks like Ransburg. Are you Ransburg on there? The children's rooms. I don't know. I just thought it was really cool. So there's that one. And then this one is also a, an antique, like a Vic, turn of the century paper doll sheets. Let's open them up, shall we? Look at this. The Sunday Herald Chicago, um, 1894. 1894 paper dolls. I thought those were special. 
So I'll put that back in the little paper. Um, paper dolls to cut and paint. This is a Saffield publishing book, but also it has pages. Most of the pages have never been cut out. So we've got like the colored version and then the version that you can, you can color in yourself. And then this one is a doll house, a complete house and furniture to punch out and assemble. This is 1959. So we have all of the furniture that's never been punched out. We got little Dolly Dangle. Dolly Dangle. Bunch of Dolly Dangles. And all of Dolly Dangle's clothes. Barbie and the Rockers. You guys remember Barbie and the Rockers? Do you guys remember Kmart? But look, here's Barbie and the Rockers. Now this one has been cut out, but it has all the pieces in there. This is another antique paper doll set. Um, Dolly's Paper Playmates. Native Dances. This is... Well, it's never been cut out. I'm trying to see if there's a date. Oh, no. How do we open this? I don't want to ruin it. You, you unfold the whole thing. But I would say probably 1890s again on that one. These are from the 20s, I do believe. Maybe the early 30s. Big life-size gals in there. Let's make furniture, living room, parlor, and bath. You can cut out all of these. Some of them have been cut out, but a lot of them haven't to make your own furniture. Look at this. It's like an Atchison Fox deal going on with all these naked ladies. Very cool. And then we've got three little girls with cloth-like clothes. So these are the three little girls that you would punch out, and then their clothes are fuzzy. But those are for big girls. Are there big girls in here too? Do they grow up? Oh, yeah. And this is how they grew. Well, that's fun. And then the rest, this one is a book that I, I loved this. I bought it when I was shopping with Danny. It's The Land of Look and See by Gladys and Corrine Malvern. I, I loved this. It has one page that has some some naughty child colored in but this little this little calendar baby fairy shows up at this little girl's house he's a little thistle down he wears roller skates and they go on an adventure but look at how darling he is her name is rosemary but they go off and they see all these people they met in each month and then they go and they see wait for it they see Santa. There isn't a Halloween one in here. I was kind of upset about that. But look, goodbye. And remember, all these gifts are yours too, if you know. If you'll just look and see. That's how we feel like when we go to an antique mall. You just got to go look and see. And then I bought these for myself for my gallery wall with of sheet music that I change out every month. Um, this is like a patriotic one. And then we've got... Um, Aaron's favorite, Kathleen Morian. Anyway, it has great graphics on it for St. Patrick's Day. That one as well. And then we have Indiana Moon. Okay, so I'm probably going to zone out today. Well, I have to do my, my, my talk at 10. I'm going to try to do some shipping right now before I do that. But I probably am just going to zone out today. Hopefully, I can get it all done. Uh, but I should have gotten started much earlier. And I'm a little mad at myself, honestly. I'm a little mad at myself for being lazy, not getting up and knowing that I had all this stuff to do today. So I I may pop in later on. I don't know. But I'm going to get busy. Well, I meant to like film myself when I was all the way done with my shipping. With, and I did. I did get it all done. I, I got done a little later than what I normally get done. But I did get it done. And... It's all in my car, ready to go to the post office tomorrow. Tomorrow I am going to go out shopping and filming someplace. I haven't decided where yet. Sometimes I go to bed and I think I'm going to go one place and then I decide to go somewhere different altogether. So, but I just wanted to check in again and it's, it is now six o'clock and picking up, I'm waiting, I'm picking up dinner and from Wendy's. We're not cooking tonight. Because I am exhausted, but the whatnot chat went well, um, and so it was a lot of it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun doing that. So, anyway, I might check in, and at least we can check in with Maybell and Mr. Fluffer Pants, so you guys can get your little bit of a dose of them for today. 
and uh, we will we'll be on our adventure tomorrow. Okay, so I'm home and I'm really upset because Wendy's did not get our, they didn't even give us our right order. They always do that. You should always check your bag of your order when you go because they, especially Wendy's, they always get it wrong. So I am having, it looks really bad. Here, Amy's enchilada. But I put tomatoes and a little bit more cheese on top of mine and sour cream. So Mark, poor Mark, wanted a burger, but he had to eat chicken nuggets and dad got a cheeseburger. That wasn't even the right one. And they got both got fries. So, which is okay with me because I'm, I'm okay with eating Amy's enchilada every night. Seriously, I'm weird. Um, so, but Wendy's, get it together. Well, good morning. It is Thursday. February 9th. I think it's February 9th. But good morning. I get to go shopping today. And I get to go shopping with my best friend, Cindy. So it's going to be a fun day. We're going to hit up a couple of shops. We're going to go eat lunch at one of my very favorite places in the whole wide world to eat lunch at. I will include it in this video so you can go. It's, just, it's the best place ever. It's just a small little sweet place, but I love it so much. There... Behind me is Mr. Fluffer Pants. Let's go say hi. Let's say hello. You're a good boy, Mr. Fluffer. He's a good boy. And who else is here? It's Maybell. Maybell, you need to pick up your toys. Can you pick up your toys today when mommy's gone? Huh? Oh. Say hello to everybody, sweet girl. Well, I am here at the Goodwill. I'm gonna, I have 15 minutes before I meet Cindy for us to go shopping and they're just getting ready to open. See, she's opening now. I'm gonna go into my teeny tiny little Goodwill and see if we can find anything today. Ooh, I kinda like that chair. Oh, $149. I don't know about that. Well, I found a nudie girl mug. Look. Oh for 99 cents. Music is so loud. I can't film on those, that one aisle. But so far I got the little nudie girl glass and I did get me some of these straws. Let's see if we can talk over the uh, music over in the game aisle. Let's see if there's anything. Now this one looks like it's still sealed, but it's the University of Kentucky. I don't really sell on eBay. I just kind of look at the games for myself. But sometimes you're checking out the games, even if they appear to be open, if you open up the box, if you can get them open, sometimes the puzzles themselves inside are still sealed. The Family Showdown. Lottie Karate. Okay. Lots of cats there. What's this? This is sealed. Snow Cottage. Scented posters. I tend to look for like, um, oh, this is sealed. Vintage games as well. Precious hands. Taboo. After dark. That's a naughty version of taboo, I think. And I am not seeing anything up there that interests me. Well, I found two things. I found the glass and the straws. And that's it. So I am going to go to another Goodwill today, so maybe I'll have better luck there, but it's time to go meet Cindy so we can go do some shopping and having some fun today. But I will check back in at some period throughout the day, and definitely when we're eating at Lady Tron's. Oh, it's so good. So I have my Cindy. Hi. And we are in Salem. I'm just going to show you where we're going to run you in here, but we're at Nana's. Nana's this and that. It's a little shop that I've been into a couple times. It's pretty small, um, but I found some pretty good things in here. So let's go see what Nana. Let's go see Nana. Nana. We're gonna have Nana time today. Oh, the wind. Nana's. It's gonna blow Cindy away. Nana's this and that. Hershey's recipes. That is cool. I like that. How much is that? Four ninety-five. Oh my gosh. It, Oh my gosh. It looks like it's only two dollars. 
Do you need it? You can keep your tang in it. Some beautiful brooches. Oh, look how sparkly that is. Those black stones. I'm going to get that. Oh, look at this one with the earrings. With those Aurora, Aurora Borealis. It's beautiful. Oh, it is. Look at the, the bracelet. You get the whole set for $9.95. That's really pretty. Today, I'm in New Albany, Indiana, and I'm at Grandma's Attic. And I'm with Hi. Cindy. So let's go. Let's go to Grandma. We went to Nana's earlier, yeah, now and now we're, we're going Grandma. to Grandma's. Looking in the window at this mannequin. I love that Valentine box, too, that she's holding. Cute. Look at this. Oh, it's a blow mold. And it lights up. $85. Wow. Well, Cindy's had a look at the bunny. Oh, look at the Anna Lee elephant. Well, she's cute. Oh, and we've got the Fenton pink slag. Very light. It's 95 it's a harder one to find. This one here is beautiful too. It's 125. Beautiful. No, oh, look at the cupies. They're five dollars each. So I'm probably gonna have to get some of these little fellas. I, I bought some in, in here before, but look at these cutie, cutie, cuties. So we are getting ready to go into Lady Tron's. It's so yummy. It's in New Albany. It's just a little diner. It's a diner, I think it was originally here. Or it's like a 1930s diner and it's just, it's, it's so good. I got a bowl of this roasted Brussels sprout soup. I tried a sample of it, it was amazing. Cindy is getting the Jane, which is a grilled cheese. And I'm getting the Leia, which is the best sandwich ever made in the world. So this is the Brussels sprout. So good. The soup is great. It's warm and creamy. It's wonderful. So this is the Leia and it is on cinnamon bread and it is gouda and apple butter and it's just, it's amazing. And then Cindy got the grilled cheese and she got the Thai noodles. So we're ready to chow down watching finally watching the mandalorian we've not seen it before maybell's making it very easy to watch aren't you maybell good morning friends it's friday and i'm not gonna lie i'm in a mood today i am i'm in a foul mood and i thought maybe the thing that might put me in a little bit better of a mood is going to Starbucks. Hi friends, this is Editing Misty, and as I'm editing this video, I'm it, it's dawned on me that, my gosh, Misty, how many days did you go to Starbucks? I promise, on a normal week, it's just one time a week. I don't know what my deal was this week, but it sounded good almost every day. So, I, it bugged me enough to put a little blurb in here. So, I'm cheap. I don't like to spend that kind of money every week, but for some reason, this week was a Starbucks week. I'm I'm only going to go one time next week. That's it. I can make coffee here. It's just as good. Mostly. So that's what we're going to do today. It's a little thing sometimes that you got to do. You got to do it. So I'm going to get a big, big coffee. A, a venti. That's the big one. I've learned that now. I used to just get a little, a little, a little grande, the medium, the medium size one, but I don't, I, I don't, I need a big one today because I have to edit videos today. I got to wrestle with tax stuff today. <sighs> That's probably the source of my foul mood. Anything to do with numbers like that. I am like a second grader. It takes me back to being that second grader that didn't pay attention in class and was fidgeting with things because you kind of go through a little bit of like a panic attack. Which I have a CPA, but I there are I, I like to double check to make sure that I have all of my deductions are, are accounted for. Because sometimes you have a I have accounting software, but I want to make sure that it's like all these big purchases we had our roof done. Um, you know, things like that. I want to make sure that those 
are all accounted for and are, you know, to be used for our deduction. So, anyway. <laughs> Alright, yesterday was fun with Cindy. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you the things that I got from the one place that I didn't film. Well, Nana's. I filmed us going into there, but I didn't film us. I didn't film a lot of shopping in there. Um, so I'm going to show you the things that I got and that's how I'm going to wrap up this vault, this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching the vlog. I really do appreciate it. I know that I had once said that I was going to put these on my secondary channel. And honestly, again, I still don't know fully if I'm going to keep that one around or if I'm just going to like put everything on this channel. I don't know. I'm still just trying to figure it all out and play around with it. I was kind of hopeful that the second channel would kind of make me kind of step out of my comfort zone a little bit and do some more videos that are not necessarily reselling related and maybe, you know, do a little bit more traveling and stuff. And I, I am going to do that. So it may not be a regularly scheduled where I'm posting a lot on there, but I'll post things when I have them on there. I'm trying not to stress myself out too much over it because I tend to do oh. those sorts of things. But We're going to do this haul. This is haul from Nana's This and That, which is in Salem, and it's a it's a great place. I hadn't gone in there for a little while, and she's so sweet in there. And so if you were in the Salem, Indiana area, go, go say hi to Nana. Nana's This and That in Salem, Indiana. It's right on the square. You can't miss it. All the way around the square, and she's right there. So I did get some cute things. Now, the first thing that I'm going to show you, they are not they are not vintage, and they are made in China. And they're poly resin. Like, it's checking a lot of boxes of things that I don't normally buy. But, they are cute. So, let me just, I'm just going to tell you that they are poly resin. They're made in China, and they're not vintage. But, they are, they're cute. They're these little deers. Let me, let me, this one kind of is like a shelf sitter. Kind of hangs over. Look at how cute they are. I'm sorry. But I, I, I crossed a threshold that I, that I don't normally buy such items. Oh, there you are. But those are cute. And there's different ones. So there's that little shelf sitter. They're all like taking a little nap. This one right here, I especially love. Because this is kind of how I'm feeling today. He's just like flat out laying down. Look, look at his little beats. I mean, come on. Those are adorable. And then there's one. So there's like, I think three or four different. I really should have opened all of these up before I started this video. I didn't. Look at this one. He's got his little hooves on his belly. You know what these would be cute for? Cake toppers. If you were making a cake for somebody... And they liked deer. These would be cute as a cake toppers. Those spaces. I don't know. Again, I don't normally buy poly resin. <laughs> and I don't normally buy things that are I know are made in China. And I, I mean, here's the box. They come in their box. I don't know what any of that says. But I do know that they are cute. So I did buy those. And also, I bought these. And I don't normally buy these. But they're, they're listen. If you sell on whatnot, if you sell on um, a live sale, if you sell on 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 um, eBay, these little Boyd's Bears are making a little bit of a comeback. The little ones. So this one's a little one. This is Jojo D Bear D De Bear Von Air. That's what its name is. But I think for spring, and I I usually just buy the ones that have the tags attached. Um, and they are fully jointed. But look at that sweet little bear. Perfect for a spring display. Right? It's just a little bitty. And then this one is, is a little... Not, you're not an elephant. You're a bunny. You're a bunny in an Easter egg costume. Still has his tags. And this is hip. There probably was hop. This one's hip. And he's a little bunny rabbit in a little egg. For Easter display, cute. Or to give to, you know, a grandchild, a child in their Easter basket. I think that would be a cute thing too. So, 
I kind of, I'm kind of looking for them again. It's these and the, these and the snow babies. I like, I'm turning it. I'm, I'm, I'm having a turn in my life where those things are like, I, I'm seeking them out. Anyway, um, I also got these. I got one. I wish I would have bought more. I'm regretting not buying more. And the next time I go down there, I'm probably going to go ahead and get some more because I think that these could be really helpful to people. I got one for me and I got one for my son. I don't know that he'll want it. If he doesn't want it, then I'll give it to somebody else. But they are handmade by a vendor in Nana's. And they are little worry fuzzies. So they're, they're being bag filled and you hold them in your hand and you can just rub them. Here, let me, I gotta put one on each hand. Oh, see, just, I'm, I'm calm now. I'm not in a bad mood anymore. But I got this one that's like a leopardy with like cat eyes. And then this one is, I don't know, he just, he just had a little personality. I don't know. So I thought I'd see if my son wanted one and I'm gonna keep one. And I, sh I wish I would have bought more. I really do. And I'm going to probably go down and buy more. But I think that they're, I think they're sweet. I like things like that. All right. And I don't know if you had seen me in a whatnot sale a couple weeks ago. I had the piggy bank that, that were these. But now I have the salt and pepper shakers. They're little yarn. They look like they're like a little yarn wrapped pig. They do have their stoppers. They're made in Japan. Great for Valentine's Day. So these I'm probably going to um, sell in Tuesday's, Tuesday's live sale. And I got Milky the Cow. This is Rimple. It is based off of um, the Rimple Squeakers. Um, and there, it's Diamond Pottery makes them. I, I, my favorite ones are the ones without the base. But this one, Milky is on her base. And she's in great condition. And I got her at Nana's. And I also got some brooches. And again, you would have thought. Misty, open up the bags. Take things out before you hit play. I mean, I suppose when I'm editing, I can edit all this out. But bear with me while I open up these bags and get everything out. All right, I got some brooches because my brooch supply is, is low. This one, you know, I haven't taken these off the cards to see if there's any maker's marks on them. I kind of... I know that that makes a difference as far as value goes. I, I do. But I, with, with many things that I buy, I tend to just look at things from an aesthetic point and how people can either wear them on their clothing or um, how they can use things in their homes. I thought this one was lovely. It has all these beautiful rhinestones and then it has the little black stone accents. They're almost like a mirrored um, black stone, which I don't know what that is called. But I thought this one was really, really pretty and very sparkly. And then I got this green one. And again, I don't know. I haven't checked. I don't think that there's any maker's mark on this one. I thought this one was really pretty too with those. Um, it's kind of a sky blue. I really wouldn't call it a cobalt or a royal blue. And then it has these little, um, they almost like a pearlescent blue bead, I guess, on there. And I like this little stem accent. So I got that one. And then this one, again, is lovely. No maker's mark on it. And I liked the black with the gold. So we've got the black stones. And you can kind of see little flowers. So here, turn it this way. Here is the stem and the, and the leaves and then the flower. I like that detail to it. And then I bought this one. It has the matching clip earrings and it's beautiful Aurora Borealis stones with the matching earrings. They are a twist clip earring or twist post earring, but I think those were pretty too. So good, good brooches at Nana's. And then I got, well, I got this. This is probably my favorite thing. This is a little Inesco pixie wall pocket planter. Now I've had these pixies. They have a little red suits on. Sometimes they're uh, a little chefs. Um, they have salt and pepper shakers that match these as well, but I've not seen the wall pocket. You could, he can stand up on his own or you could hang him on the wall, but that was pretty, 
that was a pretty amazing find. Actually, Cindy found this and she was like, do you want that? I'm like, do you want it? She's like, no, you take it. Okay. So I got that. Then I got this. Now this is from the 1930s, late 1930s, 1940s. It is made by Anchor Hawking and it is a water pitcher. Originally it would have had a little insert lid that, have, that went in there in the middle, you know, just to kind of close it off, just sat on top. Um, and it, on the bottom of it, it is marked Frigidaire Beverages Ser Beverage Server. So that's what it is. It's a beverage server. But it was um, made by Frigidaire, and it was used as a promotional thing. So I think when you would buy a refrigerator back in the day, they would be like, thanks, here you go. Thank you for buying your refrigerator from Frigidaire. You can serve your drinks out of this lovely uranium glass pitcher. But it's, it glows like the Dickens. Now, it doesn't have the lid. Honestly, I think this will make a wonderful vase. Um, and it's frosted glass. It's got this nice, like, beehive um, texture to it. Uh, so I liked it. And I love that it ha it's kind of a combination thing. It's got the advertising. And it is uranium glass. And everybody loves their glowy glass. So that was a great find. I've seen them before. Um, but I, I was able to get it at a price that I could, I could resell with it, if I do, because I'm kind of on the fence about keeping that, as well as this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is a feed sack quilt, and it was made by, you know, they used to make, um, back in, you know, during the, the Depression era, they would make clothing and things that they would use out of feed sacks. So, so feed companies started making their feed sacks a little bit more flashy in order to get people to buy their potatoes and their, you know, whatever they would store in the feed sacks. And so the ladies would buy them and then they would turn them into clothes or pillows or, you know, they would, basically they would repurpose them. So we've got this, these lovely designs on this quilt. And on the back is just the, like the muslin, feed, like a feed sack, muslin. But I love this. It is so colorful and fun that I think I might keep this one. But, but I have a quilt that I'm going to, in turn, I'm going to keep this one. And I'm going to bring another very colorful quilt with very similar colors um, in. But... And it's, this is an immaculate condition. I haven't measured it, but it's great for to put on the back of your couch to cover up with when you're chilly. And I really like that. So I'm really excited about that. And then I also got this. Now I paid $19 for this book. So I'm going to be pushing it probably at a resale for this. But it is a manual of hygiene for men and boys. There are a, lots of things that are covered, um, the age of puberty. There is one brief chapter that is a page long about the, the female sex organs. And there's um, like several chapters on the male sex organs. Happiness in the marital relationship. Are you ready for magic? marriage? Your wife's sex responsibilities. Circumcision, sterilization, impotency, the oversexed man. That's only a page long. Change of life. This uh, scourge of venereal disease. The dangers of petting. Sexual activity in the aged. The ratio of male to female births. Twin births. Castration. Periods of heat in animals. Why is that in this book? Should your wife bear children? More venereal disease and statistics of them. Some recent dis divorce statistics. Why birth control is disapproved. And more venereal disease. And the dictionary of sex terms. I'm going to go straight to the dictionary of sex, ter sex terms. Conception is the meeting of the male spermatosa with the female ovum. The, yeah, there are some sex, there are pictures in here, especially in the venereal disease section that are not great to look at. Yeah. yeah the, so, yeah, I mean, I th this is the kind of books that are great to read and to get a little chuckle over because this is from 1945. So a lot has changed since then, but um, I don't know why I'm, I, I'm attracted 
to this such thing. But gosh darn it, those kinds of things sell. They do. And, you know, I don't know. But I, I bought it. She actually had two of them, but I only bought one. I only bought one. Anyway, that was the, the, the haul from Nana's. And I added it to this, the end of this vlog. I don't know, just because... Just because it's my vlog and I could. That's why. I'm going to go drink some coffee and I'm going to get this video edited. Thank you guys so much for being with me for the whole week. Um, and I will start vlogging. I think I'm going to start vlogging tomorrow because um, I have something that I'm going to do on Saturday that I want to get in the vlog. So I'm going to um, include that. So I'll start vlogging a little bit early. Uh, and thank you so much for following along with me and kind of listening to me just kind of vent and talk and, you know, cause I feel like y'all understand and, or maybe I can get you to understand some of the, the things that go on behind the scenes. I thank you so much for watching these vlogs. I really do appreciate it. I don't know again, what's going to happen with the second channel or how often I'm going to post on there. I have some videos that I are, that I've already filmed that are going to go up on that channel, but I probably won't be posting much more than once a week. I might do some shorts and that sort of thing. Um, but, um, you know, definitely this channel is going to be where I post the majority of my content. So thank you so much for being along for the ride this week. I really do appreciate you watching. I hope that I'll see you Sunday, this coming Sunday. Well, which is, yeah, this coming Sunday, I'm having a Squishmallow cell. So if you like the Squishmallows, they're all over there on that couch. So if you like the Squishmallows, come on over to Whatnot, 2 o'clock Eastern, this coming Sunday. I'm having just a pop-up Squishmallow sale. And then Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern, join me back here with Michael, the Cult of Vintage, for our next YouTube live sale. And I'm then at Tuesday at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern. I'm going to have a vintage toy sale over on Whatnot. So I hope that you'll join me for that. And um, I did post my sale for the rest of the month on Whatnot. So go ahead and bookmark those sales if you would like to attend. Just go ahead and bookmark my sales for the rest of the month over on Whatnot. I would appreciate it. And I really appreciate you for watching. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Red hot mama, red hot mama. You're the one we need. Red hot mama. Some charmer, yes indeed You say that I should be In the follies, hot tamales You say that I got a pair of eyes Just like old Svengali's I confess that I possess The sweetest charms in town And unless I miss my guess The boys will follow me around I could make a music master Drop his fiddle, make a bald head A man part his hair